Hey, a pleasant good day, everybody. This is Sports Fanatic News. I'm Joe Bork, and hopefully the Phillies keep that ring-the-bell energy going in Atlanta. This is going to be a quick preview to the Philadelphia Phillies versus Atlanta Braves series down there in Atlanta at SunTrust Park down there in Atlanta. So let's get right into it. The Phillies in this game uh, have Eflin tonight going up against Charlie Morton, a former Phil that, of course, emerged down there in Tampa Bay, now with the Braves struggling this year, but when he's on, he can be one of the better um, just strike-throwing artists that spots his pitches with the best of them and really comes in with that two-seamer and does a good job there, mixing in his breaking ball and off-speed pitches as well. So hopefully we don't get that side of Charlie Morton and we get more of the this year's side that has him at the 508 ERA, but he's bound to square himself away eventually hopefully that's not this evening because we got Eflin or aka Zeflin going tonight uh, one of the Zacks one of the top three studs in the rotation that's been doing really well the Phillies in the series have the benefit of having two of their top three pitchers they got Eflin game one and then Sunday in game two you got you know the very good youngster Hosker you know going ag- or in game three excuse me final game Sunday you got going against Nola so you got Husker you know the great youngster who hit a grand slam as a pitcher the other day and then going up against Aaron Nola so that'll be a wonderful matchup to watch and then in the middle game you got the last is against Anderson, so obviously that one leans Braves, but then he's coming off of a hell of a start against the Milwaukee Brewers, um, actually going six innings and pitching really well in that game, so hopefully he can kind of piggyback and actually, which he hasn't done much in his career, have a couple good starts in a row. So the Phillies are benefited, other than in one game in this series, pitching matchup-wise, I would say, because coming into this game, Eflin's been much better this year than Charlie Morton, so I would give the Phillies the hand here, and of course for the first game, we always do go over the lineups. Andrew McCutcheon, who started getting going last series, uh, 198 now, obviously not good overall, but he's been getting going recently, uh, will be leading off at left, second will be Reese Hoskins at first, third will be Bryce Harper back in the lineup in right field, JT Romero will be batting fourth, Alec Bohm will be batting fifth at third base. Nidhi Gregorius will be batting 6th at shortstop. Gene Segura will be batting 7th at second base. And then Odubo Herrera will be today's center fielder. That will be batting 8th. Uh, for the Braves, they got Ronald Acuna, one of the best leadoff hitters, one of the best hitters and players in baseball in general, batting first in right field. Freeman, another guy that's one of the best players in baseball, struggling start this year, but hopefully he doesn't get going against us. Only at 202 at first base, batting second. Marcelo Zuna batting third at left field. The second baseman, Alzi Albis, batting fourth, which is a weird fourth hole hitter. You would think maybe someone like him you would put up in the order a little bit more like Freddie Freeman, but uh, whatever they want to do down there. Austin Riley at third base hitting five. William Contreras hitting six at the catcher position. Danby Swanson at shortstop batting seventh. And Christian Pache, a very good prospect outfielder. Again, another guy that hopefully doesn't get going against us. Hitting eighth with the Charlie Morton, the pitcher batting ninth. And of course, for the Phillies, Eflin was batting ninth. So. Tonight, I think it's going to be all about Zach Eflin's got to keep doing his thing. He has to go at least six sharp innings, just keep throwing it right through the catcher, right through uh, JT, and not just to the glove, but through the glove, as they say, which is the key for pitchers. He's been doing that all season. I think he will do it again tonight and have a heck of a game tonight. So I think he is going to be um, somebody to look out for tonight, and he is going to be the star of the game of the night. That is who I look for tonight. Zach Eflin and Bryce Harper in his return. I think down there in Atlanta in his return game, he's going to have a good game. I think those two will be the stars of the night. We have the benefit of the pitching matchup. I would go to say the Phillies benefit going into this game. I'll predict a win in game one. In game two, I feel like the Phillies have a chance to take two out of three in this series. Um, I'm not going to jinx it and predict what game the win out of the next two. I'm just going to say, obviously, there's a big favorite. Aaron Noel was pitching in the final game Sunday, so that's the big favor for the other one that would give them the two. But the middle game, hey, if Vinny Velasquez can pitch like he did or somewhat like he did, like I said in my recap of the Brewers series, go back and watch that if you want, or it'll be on the end screen of this video. And also, please like, comment, and subscribe to Sports Fan News as well, the channel here. I really appreciate your support. But if he can pitch like he did in that Brewers series, that would be very, very valuable for this Phillies, even if they could, even if he only goes five and just gives them a very good five innings, and then that bullpen just kind of piggybacks like it did in the Brewers series and does well, because I think Eflin's going to be able to go deep into the game, at least a solid six, if not more, he's been steadily giving you, so... I think you're going to be able to get that out of him tonight. Then if Vince can go at least five and be very good and kind of very um, 
in tune with his pitches, which he was in that game against Milwaukee, then he would be good in that game. We would have a chance in that game. And then in the third game, obviously, I don't want to predict the jinx it, but I think the Phillies have a chance of winning two out of three in this, and the favorite to win it, to win the other second game out of the three, would be with Noah on the mound. But it's not going to be easy, because Husker or Noah, uh, for the Braves, is the real deal. Um, he's pitching great. He already has 38 strikeouts on the season as a youngster and hit a grand salami, so you got to watch him at the dish as well. So you definitely got to look out for him. Um, but Aaron Noel is obviously one of the better pitchers in the game. Uh, he's been consistent. Hopefully he'll have a warm day out there in Atlanta, or a warm night out there in Atlanta on Sunday because he obviously does very good in the warm weather and will be able to get that win. But I believe the Phillies, because of the pitching matchups, you got Eflin against Morden in Game 1. Got a youngster in Yanoa who's great against Noah, but having those two guys in Nola and Eflin in a series definitely gives you a very good chance, as long as you can get the batch going enough, of winning two out of three in a series. And I think that has to be <clears throat> a good goal and something the Phillies need to do in this series to keep their momentum going, because you just took a sweep from a great Brave series, or from a great Brewer series, now coming into the Brave series. How great momentum would that be taking a sweep from the Brewers to go down in Atlanta and then I don't think you're going to sweep the Braves but take a series from the Braves. That would be a huge statement to the NL East, a huge statement to even part of the league frankly by being able to do that against the Brewers and then back against the Braves. A huge early statement, obviously not getting ahead of ourselves. It doesn't mean anything for the end of the second half of the season but a huge early statement if the Phillies are able to do that and I think they have a chance because they got Nola game three, you got Eflin game one and if Vince can pitch anything like uh, he did in that Brewer series. Who knows? Maybe you can even get that game. But I hope you all enjoyed this Phillies versus Braves series preview. Everyone have a great, safe, and pleasant day. Hopefully for the next video, that'll be the series recap of this Phillies and Braves series. Andrew will be able to join me. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And also, please subscribe to Steel Flyers as well as Flyers Nitty Gritty. For all my hockey fans, enjoy the ball game. Let's bring that ring the bell energy into Atlanta. Have a great and safe, pleasant night. And stay safe out there, everybody. Peace out.